Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and in this RPG Maker MV tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can import maps from one of your games to another one of your games, or in this case, from somebody else's game to your game. Now, before you do this, make sure you have permission from the other person to do that. Uh, Scott Zarwell has sent me his game, Rise of Equestria, and he has given me permission to use any of his maps into uh, the Legend of Driftwood community project that will be available for everybody to download once it's completed. Um, but if anybody was interested in this sort of thing, I'm going to show you how to do it. So you're going to need two folders. Open up both folders. Go to your game and then open folder. And then go to your data folder. And on one side, get your your game folder. And scroll down to where you see maps and then you have numbers. Where These are all the JSON files. Go to the very bottom, the highest number. Do the same thing for the game that you want to copy to your other game. So we're going to go to Scott's project, Rise of Equestria. We're going to go to the data. We're going to go all the way down to his maps here. Now... To figure out which map is for what is uh, another tutorial in its own. But say you figured out which map is uh, the one you want to copy. For this case, we're just going to take his most recent map of 84. And I don't know if it'll be in the final project of the game. This is for a tutorial purpose. But here's what you got to do first. In your project, you're going to go to the, to the very beginning of the top where you have that little block. And you're going to go uh, new. And just leave it everything default. Hit OK. And then save your game. Now check out your folder. It should create a new JSON file. So now we have this map 41. And you can see the size is also indicative of what's on it. There's only, there's nothing on it and it's a small map so it's four kilobytes. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna replace this map. So let's take uh, map 84 from Rise Equestria. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna copy it and then paste it right next to it. It's gonna say uh, copy. So what we're going to do is we're going to rename this copy file to map041.json. Now what we're doing is we're naming it the same as this file so that when we put it in here it's going to overwrite it. Be very careful when you're doing this because you can overwrite maps that you spend a lot of time on do, uh, doing. Um, but before we uh, hit OK, there's already a map41 on this folder. So we're going to do this underscore 2. And then we're going to hit enter. Now what we're going to do is we are going to delete this file, map041, on our project, the blank one, the 4 kilobyte one. Be careful when deleting maps. This is a, tr a touchy thing to do. But if you know what you're doing and you follow this carefully, then you'll be able to do it perfectly. So we're going to delete the 4KB new file we just created in, in uh, our Legend of Driftwood. So delete. Yes. Now we're going to take this copied one, we're going to cut it out of there, and we're going to paste it into our project. Now we're going to rename it while it's in this folder. We're going to get rid of the two and the underscore. We're going to hit enter. Now we're not going to save the game again. We're going to close the game. So close project. It might ask you, do you want to save? You say no, because if you do, it'll overwrite that copied file with the, the blank map. So now we're going to open this project, back up. And when it loads map 41, we can see map 41 is now, well, it was a default map uh, that we could have imported, but this is from Scott uh, Zarwell. But that's going to do it for this tutorial. Hopefully you guys like this on how to import maps from one game to another. If you did like this video, like, favorite, share, and subscribe. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next tutorial.